How are we all doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. And thanks for watching the video. Now my wife's been shopping to Tesco. Come and have a look at what she's bought. Breaded, sweet and spicy king prawns. Responsibly sourced. Coated in a hot honey breadcrumb for a crisp finish. New oven, 12 minutes. Two chilli rating, medium. Suitable for freezing. Now there is some information on the calories for half a pack. 203 calories. And there's a serving suggestion. These are on a club card offer at the moment. You buy two for a fiver. Sort of mix and match. But to buy them on their own, they're £3. So let's take a look at the packaging. Oh, I love King Prawns. I've got a little story I'm going to tell you in a minute. <laughs> uh, we've had a look at the front. Let's go around the back. Come in a nice little box. Look at this, look at this box. So we've got some spiel at the top there. King Prawns in a spicy breadcrumb coating. There's the ingredients. The allergen is crustacean, wheat and barley in there. Made using prawns farmed in Vietnam. Vietnamese prawns for allergens including cereals containing gluten seal ingredients in bold, which we have. Caution, this product may occasionally contain small fragments of shell. 200 grams, a GB sticker there. More nutritional information there. If you want to pause that and have a look at that, by all means, go ahead. So they are the ways to cook. You can do them in the oven or you can do them in the air fryer. It's up to you. Caution, do not overfill the air fryer. Important, not suitable for microwave cooking. All appliances vary, obviously. Wait um, and serve them when they're piping hot. Check them. Check food is piping hot throughout before serving. Put my teeth back in, spit my words out. <laughs> right, uh, I think we've covered everything. If I miss anything out, I'll put it in the. I'll put it all in the description of the video. But um, I, I rarely miss stuff out, and it's all there for you to see. Right, let's get these open and uh, see what we have got. Oh, I love king prawns. Well, my little story I'm going to tell you now. Let's just get them open first. We'll have a look. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to get the, uh, yeah, I'll get them open. I'm getting all a bit discombobulated here. Let's do the seal peel test. Let's get one thing first done before we do another. Mmm, yes, I can smell them. Something fishy going on here. Something very fishy going on. Oh, goodness me. There they are in there. I can smell that breadcrumb coating. Yeah. That's what you get. Just a little story, don't worry, you won't be falling asleep. Back in 1998, I was um, doing a roofing job. I was, I was working for a roofing company. Um, I got out of the army beginning of 98, and this was in summer. Anyway, we did a job at, I don't know why I'm pointing, it wasn't up there. We did a job in Workington, Southfield School, I think it was called. I think it's been made into an academy now, but Anyway, we changed the roof, took the whole roof off, over the, I think it was the sports hall, it might have been the hall slash sports hall, and it was all copper, and we took it all off, we put a new roof on, on top of it, obviously taking the copper off. Now you know what's coming next, we weighed the copper in, part of the deal, and we got a considerably large amount of money off that, which was divvied out between us all, I think there was about eight of us. Anyway, we went for a slap-up meal in Barrow, in fact over Walney, it's called the Roundhouse, it was a Chinese restaurant takeaway. Talking 26 years ago, anyway, we ordered a banquet, it was, um, it was unbelievable, we ordered a platter of king prawns, garlic buttered king prawns for eight, and it came on this massive sharing um, dish. And I kid you not, it must have been about six to eight inches high, full, and a, probably about two foot across. I couldn't believe it when the girl brought it in. I can still remember it, and we feasted on them. They all went pretty that way. We were all full, and that was the starter. We quaffed all night. We had a great night. Can't remember the end of it, but every time I have king prawns, it always brings me back. Always takes me back to 1998 and the roundhouse over Walney. Crikey! 
you put a glass light asleep, you could. Right, I have preheated this to go in on here. I'm not going to do them all. My wife said, um, please don't eat them all. So I'm going to do, I'm going to get six out. And then we'll see how many there's in a pack. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You get eleven in a pack. And loads of bread at the bottom, look. I'm just going to see if they, they've took that. They have a side of the King Pro and they have like a, a vein that runs down. I think it's called... Next question starts for 10. That was a, it's, I think it's called the intestinal tract. But it runs down sort of the king prawn and I notice it's not on here. So it looks like they've got rid of them, which is good. Right, let's get these in the oven. I don't know if it's me, but I'm always like a little bit dubious when things are coated in breadcrumbs. Not so much batter, but breadcrumbs. I don't know. Maybe it's me. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have mine with this. Bought this in Aldi. Um, sweet chili sauce. I think it'll. I think these um, king prawns will go well with this. So it says turn halfway. There they are. So I'll. I'll I will. So you are cooking these because they they weren't pink before I put them in. If you notice, they were. They were prawn coloured. <laughs> they only go pink when you cook them. Believe it or not. Oh no, what's going on here? Maybe should have used a bit of parchment paper. Oof. That's hot. It's all falling apart. And I don't think they'll be long now. I'll put them back in. So they are done. But there they are. So the only problem is, is when I turned them over, some of the coating came off. Now you could do them in the air fryer. I dare say if you did them in the air fryer, they would, well, be done quicker a little bit. Um, there they are. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll might as well do that. So they've gone pink. So they are, you know they're cooked. I'll cut one in half. I'll have a look. Yeah. That's some there. Smelling good. You don't get a lot, do you? But I'm going to get into them now. Before I do, I'm just going to put my chilli sauce and I'll show you that. A little bit of that to dip in. It's nice. Ooh, that'll do. I have to get some more running out. There's the chilli sauce. Sweet chilli it is. It's not hot, but it is lovely and sweet. There they are. I'll obviously try them before I put them in the chilli sauce. No, so it says new on the box. I went on to on Google online and I wasn't sure about the price. And it brought up the box, but it didn't say new on them, so I don't know if these have been out before. If you do know that they have been out before, please let me know. Just go and get another fork. I've got another fork. I'm going to try the coating first. I'm going to try that first. It's come off, so I'll just, I'll just get into that. And in fact, no, I won't. I'll just get into the King Prawn first, because I want to see what they're like. In fact, I'll get into them both together. I don't want to... I want to see if they're not rubbery. They're not rubbery. Mm. There is a there is a little bit of heat there on my tongue now. I can I can sense it. It's not too hot though at all. They're quite salty. That coating's quite nice. They are a little bit dry though. They are a little bit dry. The prawn itself, like I said, is not rubbery. They are falling apart. So obviously the heads have gone and the tails and that's off. That intestinal tract is, is no longer there. Mm. Mm, they are quite tasty. They are quite dry though. They definitely need some sauce. That's what I was worried about. I'm, like when I said before about putting coatings on stuff, you always think, what are they covering up? Or is that just me being paranoid? And that's what I was thinking that they might have covered up the intestinal tract. I think that's what you call it. Let's get some dipped in, some 
some of this chilli sauce. Bit of slippage juice, help it go down. Mm. That's better. Definitely needs to just it do not complement it well that um, chili sauce. You can put these in a wrap as well, a load of chili sauce over them. Very nice. When we were in that restaurant back in 98, like I told you a little story before, the prawns came whole. They had the tails on and the heads on, and basically you ripped the, the heads off, ripped the tails off, and then you just got them down, got them down you. Yeah. They were lovely. They were lovely, they were massive, big king prawns by that big, full of garlic butter, garlic. Oh, that was amazing. That was an amazing time. What a, that was a great job as well on the roof, roofs. That, that was an absolutely fantastic job. Minimum wage at the time, I think we were on about three pounds, just over three pounds an hour. But what a laugh we had, what a good crack. And it was summer as well, up in work, it, in summertime in work it, and it was red hot. We had a great time. Anyway, doing the wall. They're all right. They're not bad. Quite tasty, particularly with that chilli sauce. Mind you, I love chilli sauce. Sweet chilli sauce, lovely. Thanks for watching and subscribing. I do appreciate it. Marks out of ten. They're a good. They're a good eight out of ten. Yeah, a little bit dry, but like I say, with the sauce, just sort of evens it out. Helps it go down. Need a whole pack though. Take care, all the best, and I'll get back to you on the next one.